One of the great things about WordPress is the amazing variety of plugins you can get to add to your WordPress installation to make it more useful. Uh, the vast majority of those plugins are created by users like you and I, but there's actually a few, including one very, very good one uh, created by WordPress themselves, and we're going to take a look at that. That's called Jetpack. So we'll go to plugins, and I'll, sh I'll show you how this works. I've already uploaded Jetpack to my server, so it's ready to go. Um, and really what the goal of this is, there's a lot of WordPress.com features on the self-hosted one. You don't, you can't do any, you can't add plugins to WordPress.com, but they've added a bunch of features similar to what they're giving you in Jetpack to it. So they're saying, well, if you like all that stuff at WordPress.com, here's a plugin that'll give you all that stuff. And then you can add your own plugins on top of it to take it even further. Um, so let's give it, let's fire it up here and see what happens. So we'll activate Jetpack. Now before it can go, you have to have a WordPress.com account just to connect to so it can understand who you are. Um, it makes it a little trickier, but we'll go ahead and just connect that up. If you don't have an account there, they'll help you sign up. But before the plugin will really work, you have to connect it. So it's going to say, okay, my test blog and Jetpack, it's all going to go. It already knows I'm logged in as Mickmail there. So cool, we'll authorize that. If you're already logged in, it's just one click there to authorize. And now we're back. And here's all the great stuff that uh, Jetpack can do for you. So WordPress.com stats, a lot of folks have that stats plugin on their WordPress.org site separately, and they're no longer updating that. If you want to keep those stats going, you need to load it through here. You can do that. Um, they add social media login options to your comments if you want. So you can have people log in using their Facebook or Twitter credentials to leave comments on your site. Uh, this is a nice one people have been looking for. A simple way to get let people subscribe to your site and subscribe to comments on a particular post via email. They manage that all automatically. Carousel is pretty neat. Um, it'll turn any standard WordPress gallery into a cool full screen carousel, I guess. Kind of similar to the way Facebook shows a bunch of images. Uh, we also have shown you the jQuery Lightbox for native galleries plugin, which I tend to like a little better still, but this is pretty neat and included in Jetpacks. Just turn it on and go. Uh, sharing widgets is pretty cool. We'll look at that real quick. Let's dig into that. And they just added Pinterest and a few others a few days ago. So this is pretty neat. So we click on configure. You can also get to it under settings and sharing. And say, okay, here's what you have and here's what you're using. So we'll say we want people to be able to share posts. And this will just go under each post so they can quickly share your content on these services through Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and Pinterest. Call it good. Okay. We want to show the icon and text. Share this. Sounds good to me. We want to show up on just our posts probably. Save. And we're done. Now all of our posts will have those icons. We'll look at it real quick. We'll go into a post here. You see this big long post, the default one, but there's Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Pinterest right there. So that's a pretty cool one. So we'll go back to Jetpack again here. Uh, it has a spelling and grammar checker. Vault Press does some backup and security things. Uh, Gravatar, if you ever use Gravatar, it stands for Globally Recognized Avatar. Uh, basically a way to get your face to show up wherever you're logged into sites. Does cool little pop-up cards for those. Uh, this is neat. It helps you do a contact form on any page. I'll show you that real quick. So if we go into pages, and we'll just create a new one real quick. There's now a new button at the top here for forms. So add a custom form. We'll say it starts with name, email, website, and comment. You can play around with it and say on notifications. We don't even have to fill this out. It'll go to the default one on the site. So we'll say, okay, cool. Add this to my post, and there it is. We hit publish, that forms on our site as a contact form. Beautiful. Uh, let's go back into Jetpack real quick. We don't need to save that. Um, it also does shorten links with the wp.me extension. Helps you embed short codes. You can do some cool math markup for those of you that have a site that needs it. Um, gives you a few more sidebar widgets. If you've looked at any of our widget tutorials, this adds a few more widgets to the area for you to use. And then enhanced distribution just kind of pushes it out to other services. Uh, WordPress does that natively. This pushes it out to a few more. I mean, it can't hurt just to give you a little more potential traction on your site. So uh, there it is. There's Jetpack for you. A lot of neat stuff in here. It's completely free. Uh, the only catch is, of course, you got to connect it with your WordPress.com account, which is also free. It just takes a minute to set up. So hope that helps. Thanks.